All right, coming up next, it's a UFC heavyweight showdown. All right, here he is, DC. In my mind, this is the most dominant force in the MMA game today. The undisputed UFC lightweight champion, your AKA teammate, Khabib Nurmagomedov. Yeah, and for Khabib, it's the well-rounded skill set that has propelled him to one of the longest undefeated streaks in mixed martial arts history. No missteps, no mistakes, no underestimation of opponents. Always prepared, always ready to go, and he can rely on his the coaching he gets, also, on the ability that he has to carry him to victory time and time again. Wrestling, Sambo, Jiu-Jitsu, striking, the guy has it all. I know you listed striking last, but your head coach, Javier Mendez, says sometimes he's going southpaw yeah. in training. We haven't seen just how good a striker he is. We saw shades in the McGregor fight. Yes. But not complete. But technically, he has so many skills that he has not even displayed to the MMA community yet. All right, another big spot for Khabib Nurmagomedov here tonight. All right, so here he is, one of the more prolific takedown artists in the UFC at present. And when you get some praise from Daniel Cormier, when it comes to your offensive takedown game, you know you're doing something right. And we talk about wrestlers and judo players and grapplers, but this guy just combines all of that. He is able to use foot sweeps from the grappling game. He is able to use throws from judo, and he's able to use wrestling in the, from the wrestling game to take people down. He has an array of takedowns at his disposal, and he uses every single one of them from the speed of the level change to the timing to the knowledge of where to go next when the guy starts to defend, he's truly, truly something special. I don't think he could take you down, but tonight he doesn't have to. So he does not in have this to. matchup, prevailing wisdom is he'll be able to get this fight to the canvas. And now our tail of the tape for this heavyweight fight. So more than 10 years apart, these two fighters, with big differences in height and reach. All right, to get us started now, here's Bruce Buffer. Ladies and gentlemen, this is the main event of the evening. When the action begins, our referee in charge of the octagon, Dan Mergliata. And now, this is the moment UFC fans around the world have been waiting for. Live from the sold out Madison Square Garden Arena, in New York City, it's time! Five rounds in the UFC heavyweight division. Introducing first, fighting out of the blue corner. This man is a grappler, holding professional record of 29 wins, no losses. He stands five feet 10 inches tall, weighing in at 155 pounds. Fighting out of the Republic of Dagestan, Russia, Habib, the Eagle, Nurmagomedov. And now introducing his opponent, fighting out of the red corner. This man is a kickboxer, making his professional debut here tonight. He stands six feet six inches tall, weighing in at 246 pounds. Fighting out of London, England, the Destroyer. All right, commit to the rules of the locker room. I want you to obey my commands at all times, protect yourself at all times. On a nice, clean, safe fight. Touch gloves, back to your corners, come out fighting. You ready? Round one, you are paid to tell us what you think is going to happen as an analyst. We have a striker, we have a grappler. Doesn't always play out that way, but what are you expecting to see in this? I'm expecting the grappler to try and go and make contact with his opponent. Right. If he can make contact, he can drag this fight to the match. I expect the striker to try and maintain range with his jab, with his kicks, to make this a stand-up affair. Well, perhaps a sign of things to come as he lands a kick there. Nice kick landed by the gentleman. Man, he's just got a great feel for the striking realm early in this one. The timing is on point. He's doing a great job of mixing everything up. Well, he's got the reach advantage. He might as well use it. Nice job there to find a home for that jab. Effective strike there by Nurmagomedov. Oh, 
collar tie. Beautiful straight punch there. His boxing fundamentals are just so clean. Oh, he looks so sharp tonight. Some fighters shy away from checking a leg kick. Check that one. Oh, that's a beautiful strike there by Khabib. Don't call him a one-trick pony. Don't call him a one-trick pony, John, because he is. He is a guy that is able to mix everything up inside the octagon. Nice. Over and over, he's landing these big body kicks. Nervato then up gets the double leg takedown now. Posturing up now. And now the damage is about to start. Well, you gotta stay busy on the bottom. He's doing it here. Nice punch. Fighters back to their feet here. Nermago Medov gets touched by that leg kick attempt. Big powerful punch lands. Now he gets back to range. Just over three minutes now to go. Oh, caught him flush with the head kick. What a kick by this young man. He does a great job of disguising that technique. And before you know it, boom, he lands. And there comes the separation now. All right, so the taller fighter lands a knee, and Daniel Cormier to my right, I can hear him saying, I wish I was a little bit taller. Oh, roundhouse kick. Oh, and he connects with a punch there, DC. You gotta like what you're seeing, Mustafa. I mean, the speed at which he throws is crazy. He's gotta be careful dipping his head when he's throwing that jab. Nurmago Medov gets caught by that straight punch. His defense has abandoned him tonight. Well, he continues to do a nice job here defensively, protecting his head, raising the guard, and really frustrating the offensive fighter a little bit. Lesson one in boxing class, hands up, chin down. Right hand punch from the clinch. Both guys really throwing with authority. Whiffs on that offering. Now a counter with a body hit. Good job by Nermago Meta. He's throwing every part of himself into these big leg kicks. Big punch lands over the top. How's he gonna follow this one? Oh, and he caught the kick. Hook to the head, lands flush there by Nermago Meta. Good series of strikes for him there, staying busy and staying accurate. I mean, the accuracy is unbelievable. Look at how he turns his hip over when he throws that kick. We can win this round. I need you to get the takedown. Oh, and another leg kick lands flush, and now you're starting to see visible damage on that lead leg of his opponent. Visible damage, and you see him starting to make mistakes now. In his defenses, because his leg is so beat up. It's red, it's all beat up, he's limping, he's turning away. There are so many things that he is doing wrong now because of the leg damage he has taken. Look at the angle of that nice body kick. Punch over the top. Well, we told you off the top he had the reach advantage, and you saw it right there with that punch. Well, you start to really worry about the wrestling, and there's that left hand from Cubby. Underrated. I mean, it's a very underrated part of his game, his ability to stand and strike with anybody in the UFC. He's grabbing the back of the head, pulling forward on the head, and then landing those beautiful punches. Really has got his opponent on notice here. Man, he is so sound defensively. Nice job to raise the guard there. It's the relaxation that allows him to see things coming and block most of the strikes that are coming at him. What a punch. Look at how he turns his hip into that leg kick. Big power shot there. I am starting to lose track how many punches this guy has landed to the head of his opponent. That horn sounds means we have reached the end of round one. All right, well, that's the end of the round, and we will go right into the corner of the fighter with that brutal cut on his nose. Really, really bad here. You got to think they're going to, at the very least, call the doctor in. And if that cut gets any worse than it is now, they will have no choice but to stop this fight. All right, we now take a look back at some of the highlights from that last round, DC. A lot for the replay guys to choose from. I mean, these guys are going to be very busy trying to find what replay to show you guys. Lance on both sides of the octagon. Both guys fought great. What a phenomenal round. All right, here we go with round two. Round one, pretty good, not great, but some action on both sides. 
We can't always hope for fireworks, John. Yeah. Sometimes you gotta deal with the ebbs and flows of a fight. In round number one, you saw both guys have success. Let's see who really charges out ahead in the second round. All right, so he's landed some good shots tonight, but this is not a combo meal, right? No three-piece, no soda. It's one and done more often than not. John, don't you come to me without a combo. I want the <laughs> whole platter. Give him the whole platter, young man. Put some punches together. Make this guy take the whole thing. Give him more than one strike. You have now found the set of punch. The jab is landing consistently. Find something that's going to go behind it. He gets to a spot, the tie clinch. Then he starts to let the knees fly. Beautiful strike. Right punches there. Back to the overhand right, not there. There's no give on that leg kick. Splits the guard, lands the right hand. All right, single collar tie now. Now he's got the Muay Thai club. Huge knee lands from close. Oh, nice slip and then the counter for good measure. So making good use of that reach advantage now. That's a big strike right there. Well, he's doing a nice job here blocking these shots. The chin is tucked, the hands are high. Pretty good job defensively thus far. Great job defensively. He's seeing everything coming. Just out of range with that left hook. Man, look at the redness now, almost immediately on the right side of his body. Oh, tags him again with a flush left hand. Superman punch lands! So he's really starting to put together some significant body shots here. These are gonna take their toll as this fight goes on. Single collar tie now. Oh! Oh my god, he switched the line to a high crotch. Rotated him and took him for a ride. That was a big takedown. Continue to rain down the opponent. Better move out of harm's way or the referee's gonna stop this thing. He better start to move, and when his opponent starts to posture, he needs to put his feet on the hip, push him away, and try to escape this very, very dangerous position. Well, the ground and pound is there once again. Strong work here by Nurmagomedov. He's putting him in exactly the positions he needs to be in right now. He's able to relax here, and he understands, being a veteran, of so many fights that as long as he's on top, he's winning. He feels like he's winning here. Pretty good ground and pound by him here. He told us on Thursday he needed to be more effective in these situations, certainly effective tonight. Many people have gone away from this style of fighting. This man has embraced it, and you are seeing why he's one of the best that we've seen do it in a long time. Well, as usual, suffocating work from the top here by Mago Meta. Crazy accuracy and efficiency with these ground and pound strikes here. And if you're the opponent, you got to intelligently defend or the referee's going to stop. You got to defend. But you can see him now starting to gain posture and the intensity at which he's throwing these ground strikes is starting to improve. It starts to elevate because he knows that he can get the finish. Five seconds remain in the round. Thirty seconds to go. Twenty seconds left to go in round two. Outstanding combination of ground and pound punches here by Nurmago Medov. Final seconds here of round two. Left eye starting to shut a little bit. That bear's watching. 
All right, round three coming up next. All right, that's the end of the round. You see the cut on his lip, ladies and gentlemen, is only getting worse. Likely gonna need to get stitched up after the fact, and blood in and around the mouth area could upset his breathing pattern. Not a good reality for him here tonight. All right, now we check out some of the action from that previous round, DC. How about the display of striking? Just high level. I mean, you would think that we're watching a K-1 level kickboxing match opposed to being in the UFC. Both displayed great technical skills, unbelievable striking. All right, here we go with our next round, and really shades of the Diaz brothers in that previous round. A lot of volume, a lot of accuracy, just a lot of efficiency on the field. Very, very efficient. Good round in the sense that he did not throw everything with absolute power, but he was touching the entire time. Then every now and again, he would set down to the strike that was so damaging his ball. And they separate. Throwing that jab now again, the fighter evades. Ooh, head kick lands, he's hurt. Not there. Nice defense there, huge block. Nice punch lands over the top. Here he is back in the clinch. Oh, huge right hand! Oh, he's hurt bad, he's hurt bad, John. He's gotta press him, he's gotta go chase that finish down now. Nice head kick. Oh, big left hook there. And they separate. Oh, continuing to work the body to great effect. Now he touches him with the left. Big kick land. Try to establish that jab. All right, he engages in the single collar tie. Oh, really making good use of his reach advantage as he lands the straight punch there. All right, so a high amplitude double leg takedown there. Now we'll see what he can do with it to try to advance position on the ground. You knew that he was gonna attack the double because he's such an explosive guy. He got it on the hips, finished the shot very quickly. Fantastic job. Under three minutes now to go on the round. All right, north-south position now, DC. We'll see how he chooses to advance from here. Oh, he's got the knee on the belly. Could be trouble defensively. Oh, man, that eye looks so swollen now. You've got to wonder whether or not that might be a fractured orbital. We have crossed the midpoint of this one. Solid strike on the ground. All right, so pretty good damage here with the ground and pound. Nothing superficial about these strikes. They are intending to harm. Oh, yeah, he's landing very accurately, and he's landing to get damage off. Oh, excellent pressure here from top position by Nermago Medoff. Lands with the ground and pound here. Under two minutes now to go. Well, he's in a conference. That's it! And that'll do it! Goal! Oh, my goodness! I'm not sure if that's the way he drew it up, but a huge result for him here tonight as he gets the win by way of knockout, and that's about as good a one-strike finish as we've seen here in the UFC in recent memory. I'm not even sure the opponent saw it coming, so a big, big win for him here tonight. Enjoy watching this one back. Let's take a look at the replay of the knockout just a moment ago. It was right hand after right hand after right hand. Finally, he found the one that hit the exact sweet spot that ended his opponent's night. Now we go inside the octagon. Bruce Buffer with the official decision.
Ladies and gentlemen, referee Dan Bergliato has called a stop to this contest at three minutes, 14 seconds of the third round. Declaring the winner by knockout, Khabib the Eagle, And there is the man of the moment, and what a moment this must be like for a professional athlete, right? I know you enjoyed the birth of your kids, right? Yeah. But you knock out a man in a cage fight. I can't think of anything better. I mean, there's nothing like it. You know, you don't even hear the one that lands that puts out your opponent's lights. And tonight, he got that done. And he should be very proud 